As Hillary Clinton's campaign continues to unravel, a brand new book out today makes some very shocking allegations about the Democratic frontrunner that could, in fact, derail her entire campaign. Joining us now, the author of the brand new book, Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary, Ed Klein. Now, by the way, we, re we reached out to the Clinton campaign for a comment earlier today, and they were comparing it to a comic book, Ed, so they're not exactly <laughs> uh, fans of yours. I want to... Who's... who's I, who's making funny g remarks? Is it Nick Merrill who lies know, hey, on a day-to-day -day basis? Listen, for the, you know what? For Why don't Hillary, Hillary, I'll give you five hours, an entire week. Hannity and Hillary for a week. We'll give her all the airtime she right. wants. Here's what I want to ask you. Yeah. You were the New York Times magazine editor for 10 years. When the New York Times was still a straight publication. That, all right. So it, you have credentials, but you have the group of people that will attack you. Right. That's fine. Let's talk about this meeting that Hillary in the Oval Office with Obama and mm -hmm. literally I want you to call off your effing dogs Hillary says Barack and he says no right Bill Clinton and Hillary had heard for months that Valerie Jarrett was leaking negative stories about her emails about her taking foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation about her being uh, in touch with Sidney Blumenthal they were absolutely, you know, livid about all these leaks that were coming out of the White House. So Hillary asked for a private meeting with Barack Obama. She goes to the White House and finds Valerie Jarrett in the room, the Oval Office with Obama. She starts to try to ask him to, would you please look into this? And he behaves like he doesn't know what she's talking about. Finally, she loses it and says, what I want you to do is call off your effing dogs, Barack. Wow. And he looks shocked. You don't talk like that to a president no, in not, the Oval not, Office. You certainly don't. But, but you reveal in this book that Obama personally approved the FBI investigation of Hillary's emails and that Valerie Jarrett initiated six investigations into her tenure as Secretary of State and she leaked to the press the information about the Clinton Foundation. That's right. So when you put two and two together, they're trying to take her down. They're, they're, and, and the Clintons know it. And that's why these two families, they're almost like mafia families, are at each other's throats. They're, you know, you have a scene of kind of intrigue, backstabbing and, and deception at the highest levels of the Democratic Party. And Obama, you describe in the book, will not support her run for the presidency. But you're saying behind the scenes, he wants Biden in right. and he will give Biden all the support behind the scenes he can give. Valerie Jarrett has been meeting with Biden on a regular basis, urging him to go in. Biden does not get on Air Force Two, the vice president's plane, without the president's approval. And now he's got approval to fly all over the United States and make non-campaign speeches. You talk in the book about Hillary's health. Bill Clinton made a comment that it took her six months to recover. So he kind of revealed in that comment that it was far worse than what was publicly disclosed at the time. How bad is her health? What are people telling you? I've interviewed a number of people who are close to the doctors who have actually investigated this and have looked at her x-rays and gotten her medical records. And they tell me that she has an intrinsic uh, uh, attitude toward forming blood clots, especially in her brain, next, between her brain and her skull, and that this can be very dangerous, that on the campaign trail she has had dizzy spells, she has... Um, when she was sick, heading into that Christmas holiday, if I remember correctly, I was told by people that were reading the, the public reports, published reports, that their interpretation, medical professionals mm -hmm. that I know, that they interpreted it that she had a TIA, or yeah. what is known as a mini stroke. Right. Um, very dangerous condition. Usually you would end up on blood thinners, maybe even for the rest of your life, something like Coumadin or something like That's that. That's what she's on right now. She, you know for a fact? For a fact that she's on Coumadin, and that Bill Clinton has urged her to travel with her personal physician to keep, so that he can keep an eye on her. What He's is very, he afraid of? Is he, He's afraid that she's going to literally either faint, stumble, fall down, show a tremendous amount of weakness in front of the cameras. He wants the doctor to be there to make sure that she's okay to go out in public. All right, what is the deal, and you go into this to some extent, 
we hear that the Secret Service nicknamed one of Bill's girlfriends Energizer, right. one in Chappaqua, mm -hmm. and that there are others, and that when she found out about Orgy Island and her, his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, the convicted pedophile, mm -hmm. and that Bill is traveling on the plane, uh, Lolita 11, Express. Eleven separate times with Jeffrey Epstein. Okay, who convicted pedophile. Yes. Okay. Then she hit the roof. What happened? She came barreling into his office, which is in a red barn next to their Chappaqua home, started shouting and screaming at him in front of friends. This is how I found out about it, because friend, I spoke to the friends. She yelled at him that this is the worst thing that you've done to me since Monica Lewinsky. And he kind of just sort of collapsed, you know, melted in front of her assault. But... Right. She, it wasn't a really surprise to her that he was fooling around with a woman. It was a surprise to him, to her, that he was being so indiscreet. Let me ask you this. I, there's a complicated relationship with the, the Clintons and Obamas. Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton said they played the race card on me and they planned to do it. But then Bill Clinton in 2012 comes to the rescue. I mean, he was the rock star at the 2012 convention, not Barack Obama. Right. Um, and you're saying now that the Obama, and including Michelle, who you say is actively involved in all of this, they are trying to undermine her campaign and take her out. There's no question about it. They want control of the Democratic Party and all that that means and the patronage that will come to whoever controls the party when they leave the White House. They don't want to turn the party over to the, to the Clintons, which, if they do, means that the Clintons will, will actually... Uh, keep the Obamas mm -hmm. on the sidelines. So you named it unlikable because she's unlikable. I named it unlikable because 58 percent of the American public doesn't trust her and thinks she's a liar. Unprompted, the number one word, adjective people use, liar, untrustworthy. Right. Can you win the presidency with those adjectives? I don't think so. I don't. Are people going to vote for somebody they I don't I don't think trust? she gets the nomination at this point. Mm -hmm. I think she, she better lawyer up pretty quick because she's got some legal issues. Well, Bill has been urging her to do so, and she's refused so far to lawyer up. All right. Get ready for your attacks. They'll, okay. they'll, they'll probably be up in an hour. All right. Ed Klein, thank you. It's called Unlikable in bookstores now.